donuts in the morning, hon. What? It's gonna be bad. <laughs> so now I'm on day two of being 29, and I thought I would show you my scrapbooking room, or my craft room, inspired by Karen Cavett because I just saw her video of it. So here we go. When you come in the room, there's a nice big pink wall, which probably makes me look pink in everything that I do. I've got my desk, a shelf, there's Mr. Lucky Boy. Hi, Yucky. A little mini TV with a Cricut printer, or not printer, a Cricut cut cartridge. If you're a scrapbooker, you know what Cricut is. <laughs> um, um, old scrapbooking album, some shelves with papers for business stuff. And I've got my, I guess you would consider it a mood board, but it's really just stuff that I like. <laughs> so I've got an Ellen quote walk off the earth when they first came out with their video i've been obsessed with them since and i got a picture of me and my grammy and my grandma i love them both and of course a picture of the little lucky boy when he's a baby and all kinds of cool stuff i've got little printer tags there these are flowers from my friend's wedding um they're really cute and there's a photo of me and kenton in santa monica a Pinterest project I made, 30 lists I did in September of last year, so that's coming up soon, doorknobs, a shelving unit, there's not much in there, it's not too organized, boxes and just random stuff inside. Above the light switch is one of these little things that I haven't figured out quite what to use yet, so I just put a picture of me and Lucky and Kenton. That was from New Year's 2012 going into 2013, I believe and some things I made when I was in uh, middle school, maybe high school that I found. I thought they were cool. And I've got another Pinterest project, which I have not hung yet, one of my favorites. And these are my drawers with a bunch of scrapbooking and Etsy stuff, papers, supplies, what have you. Same thing inside of this cabinet. Uh, Etsy stuff on the top shelf, scrapbooking supplies and stamps on the second shelf. Third shelf is packing, mailing, um, boxes, and then the bottom is all my overstock paper and packing peanuts and printer paper. Lots of other stuff to go through. Oops, sorry. Then we've got a desk where I do work, which is covered with stuff that I have to go through. Printer and another shelving unit and my desk. And then if we go around my desk, my bamboo I'm trying to save, it's dying. Those are the shoots that I got off of it. And this is my desk with my computer and my Smashbook shelf, which I've been trying to do stuff in uh, as many of my Smashbooks as I can. Scrapbooking tools, more tools. It's just kind of my hidden mess slash open mess. I actually use one of the drawers. I think this is a good idea as a trash can. So I put a plastic bag in there and I use it for trash. And then I've got this cool shelf my aunt found me. Um, that used to be like a postal shelf, I guess. And I keep all kinds of stuff in there. I've got papers that I use to print from, envelopes, uh, a million little printer things that I want to do projects with, uh, washi tape, my weight thingy that has not gone very far, <laughs> a coffee mug, and some notebooks. And then, of course, on my desk, I've got some quotes, a picture of my hobby, my favorite one. It's kind of pink there, I don't know why. There it goes. And these little notepad things, I think I had this at Michael's a long time ago. Some quotes, a picture of us at our wedding. This little thing I made that I was um, saw something similar at Archivers before they closed, and so I keep all my pens in it. I used to have that at my desk at work. And then I got more notebooks upon more notebooks. All of these photos are all from a good friend of ours who passed away, but it was her Instagram. And I printed them all out and tried to organize them, and then I made a book for her husband and just gave it to him. But I really love all her photos, so I've just kept this up there. And uh, I actually think I'm going to print some of her pictures out in a bigger form. Because I just love them so much. Look at how many pictures she had. She was only on Instagram for like a couple years. Not even, I don't know, maybe like two years it was she had pictures of, but it was a lot. And we'll do a quick little closet overview because there's too much stuff in there to explain. 
This is the scrapbooking side. Scrapbooking above, scrapbooking in the middle, and lots of scrapbooking all the way down in my camera. Uh, some of which I've organized and some of which I have not. The other side is the rest of the stuff. Be warned, this is extremely messy. Yarn, sewing, envelopes, breast cancer awareness, uh, a lot of random stuff, fabric, Mod Podge, ribbons, chalk, beans, uh, lots of pens and pencils, and then another shelving unit, and then more business stuff, and then a sewing machine, <laughs> and a mirror. Oh, look, there's a picture of me. And I made a baby. Uh, or maybe like three. It was a long time ago. I'm not quite sure why I have that. <laughs> that is my scrap room slash craft room. Karen Cavett, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have the same organization as you do or, or the same amount of stuff as you do, but I definitely have a lot of scrapbooking stuff. So hope you like it and I'll see you guys tomorrow.